be on. Good afternoon. It's Karen. And Tim. From Stepping on the Back Porch. And welcome to another weekly live. Today we're going to be doing a double one sheet wonder. So I had mentioned you can grab two sheets of six by 12 paper if you want to play along. But And Karen said I don't have anything to do. I know. I was working on this to the last minute. He was out running errands. It's okay. kind of the story of our life, isn't it? Now, Karen, Karen misses me when I'm gone. She really yeah. does. Mm -hmm. And she has a sense when I get close, when, <laughs> when I pull into the parking garage and turn the car off right in front of our place, she calls me and says, are you coming home, my dear? No. And it's because I forgot to bring a Sharpie and I had to do this. It's the pattern for a bunchy wonder. So that's what I sent him so, out to get. And she didn't say, are you coming home, my dear? She didn't say that. No, no. And I didn't say I'd be waiting by the door. No. No. Um, anyway, we're coming to you from Fort Walton Beach. We're having a lovely time, and it's actually beautiful today. It's been pretty chilly and windy but, and damp, but it's looking like things are changing. So. It's going to get colder <laughs> for the weekend is what it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, but that's going to be nice again, and and this has been this has been beautiful. So just to know, if you're anyone in the area, and we will be going to Pensacola and Mobile. If you're anywhere in those areas, we would love to buy you a coffee. We only sit outside and visit, but we just love to meet with people in our community, so let us know if you're anywhere in that whole area. And if we meet tomorrow, <laughs> it'll be the anniversary of our engagement. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So you can yes. celebrate. Well, us. I think Tim just might be too busy celebrating. I'm but it's also sure, but... <laughs> our second grandchild's, our, our grandson, oh, Hank. Just... It's his ninth birthday tomorrow. So. so we get to do a little FaceTime with him. And we bought him a little thing at, um, what's that? What's that? Uh, tourist trap store here that you see all over Al's or something. I don't know. I Alvin's. 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 Yes. I used to come here with the kids when my parents spent a month here. And of course that's where they would save their money and go. So it was pretty funny because we went in and just bought a, a little thing to wrap up for him in memory of it, of it being his dad's favorite store when he was a kid coming down here. And, and then of course we put in money, but we thought that would just be kind of a fun, fun story for them to share. <laughs> And yeah, we are missing really cold weather uh, and snowing up north. So yeah, so I guess it's a good time to be here. And it's snowing from Arizona, New Mexico, Nebraska, all the way up. It's it's weird. A couple of you are thanking me for the birthday cards. Did you know that in the back porch stampers is a place you can put in your birthday card? And I'll, I always will send you a birthday card. <laughs> and you might get some from other people too. So we are loving. And also in the back porch stampers, every week, there's a drawing just for someone who has, um, there's always a thread of what the challenge is. So I'll be saying what the challenge is now. And if you put what you made on that thread, that's where the drawings come from. You can put it also in separately if you want to talk more about it. But we do the drawings from there because we can do a random number generator and we use those comments. And the winner this week was uh, Georgine Williams for doing a pocket card. So, so that's really fun. So we'd love to have you come play along over there. And yes, we're in Florida, but we're still having the All Good Cards Club. It is not this weekend, but it's next weekend. And I have to show you one of the fun fold cards. I got, look at this stunning card. So we're going to be doing this fold. But, we, you know, we do things in a variety. I get got this from Manuela Mueller. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right from Germany. Is that just awesome? And I had so many requests. And you can put a little, one of those little light, um, uh, battery, or you know, those little those little things you get <laughs> with the lights, and it's just really a lovely glow. So isn't that fun? That's one of the three different folds we'll be doing. That's a week from this weekend. It is only $15 a month to join the All Good Cards Club. We have a great time. It's one weekend a month, and you get access to the PDFs. Can you read German? <laughs> but you get access to the videos and PDFs forever, so it doesn't matter if you can't be on their live. But it's also a fun way to just get to know each other better. So love that. And I think we'll put it down. So, uh, and I come back afterwards and read all the comments. It's just kind of hard, hard to do that. So we're going to go down. The other thing I wanted to talk just a little bit about first was, my goodness, a week ago I did pocket cards. And it has been, you know, I bet we have 200 cards over in the back porch stampers. I love what you guys are sharing and posting. And then... Julie Heights called me during the week and said, I have a great idea. She is a quilt card lady, so you'll want to check her out. It's Chirpy Card Make 
maker of something, you'll find it, but I'll put a link in the show notes. She does a new quilt card each week on mm -hmm. her Facebook. So if you are a quilter or you're a wannabe quilter or you know quilters, I think that covers everyone. <laughs> uh, quilt cards are fabulous. But she said, what if we took the idea of the pocket cards and made quilt, pocket quilt cards? Because, you know, like quilts are what, you know, you can't hug someone right now, but quilts are like cozy and you, it's like, it's like a hug. You wrap up in a cozy quilt. And I love that idea. So this is the first one I made. And um, so I'll put a link to that too. She, in the PDF, she has three simple patterns to get you started. And this is a strip quilt. That's one of the ones. So it's just, you know, it's a great strip card. But you see, it's a pocket. So you pull this out. And so we put a challenge out to see if we could have 50 people make these and share the story of who it's going to. And I didn't put names down, but somebody had said she sent one to her friend in the hospital having surgery and she wrote a prayer with a card and um, and just said, and she said she was considering it like a prayer, prayer quilt. And somebody else had said, you know, we could look at these as, you know, the prayer shawls that you get. I went through breast cancer, my journey about eight years ago, and I remember getting a prayer shawl and how much that meant to me. And so much of it was just thinking about the person who made it. And, you know, I know it was a group of people making these, how they are praying for the people they're making them for. And I always thought that was just a, such a comforting, lovely tradition. So I loved this whole concept that people were saying, this could feel like the same. And so now when this is sitting on her bedside and she looks at it, she's also reminded that someone is praying for her. So I'd encourage you to go look at that. And if you like this concept, join us in making a quilt card and just hearing all the stories. The other thing that's been fun, several people have been putting in masculine quilt cards and we're talking about how sometimes men um, you know, when you think of quilting and stuff like that, it's so easy to come up with feminine ideas. And also women are just, I think we're more, well, we're more trained in life. To, you know, we just are more used to reaching out. And I have just loved seeing some of the masculine ideas. And we're talking about remember the men in your life. And, you know, boy, they need the quilt and the hug as much too. So I think it is just a very special thing that we can do, each of us to impact our little corner of the world. I said, that's kind of how I like to look at this. So anyway, I love this idea. Oh, and by the way, notice this paper. This is brand new paper, stamp set, bundle. Everything, demonstrators can order this month. Customers can order next month. One big reason to buy the starter kit is we get to order things a month early. If you're someone who likes to get things a month early, you can choose to get this in your starter kit. So let me know if you have questions about that. It's an awesome deal. So anyway, that's a long preview. It Any is. Comments, Tim? Yes, we got to do this. Oh, okay. Um, one of my jobs when I came home late. Yeah. <laughs> no, he wasn't late. It was just time. Um, <laughs> just on time. Yeah. <laughs> was to do the host code thing. So this is February, and this is there's already I've already got a an idea for it, and this is dedicated to my my lovely wife Karen, and it's this is the measurement of my love for her. Okay. <laughs> 42 <laughs> times 66 to Karen Dearest. <laughs> I yeah. love it. That's great. <laughs> if you saw my post on the back, on the back porch today, I closed out my host code for this month totally by mistake. So I had to put up a new one. And I said, this is my oh, brain on is... vacation. So that's why I, we didn't have a, a thing. So I said, you you know, and my handwriting is terrible. So I, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> It give you a lot of numbers to work with. So I that's, know. Just, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, good. Mary Jean says her brother-in-law is battling stage four colon cancer. And yes, yeah. And I think, you know, just to remember that, I just think it is so special just letting people know. And I just love that idea. You know, this is a, a prayer quilt, you know, for you. I can't be there to hug you, but know that I'm praying for you. I'm thinking of you. And um so we will move on. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was packing for vacation. <laughs> and as this month wears on and I have fewer and fewer products to work with, we'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to show what I do. I've talked about this before, but when I cut out die cuts, I always make a few extra. And so I have some packets of things because then when I make cards, I often can figure out first what kind of thing I want to lay on it and then I'll figure what to use for the words or whatever. So I just grabbed a few of those. This was another time that came in handy. I fussy cut some seashells. 
I actually did that here just while we were in the evening because I thought that's perfect because then I have some things to work with. And I just have some assorted gems, all that are open. And this is all I brought. <laughs> no, so that's just not all you brought. Oh, but for little accessories. Oh, okay. And I am finding, yes, that it is quite different when you don't have everything with you <laughs> to make do. But I also think it's a great exercise in uh, sometimes we just um, have easy. so much. I might need some of them. So why don't you just move them like over there if I can still reach them. So the first thing we're going to do today, and we've had a conversation about in the backport stampers, and I love that. I'm actually going to do a podcast about that. So I love taking comments. I love putting up a question and then taking comments because you people have great, awesome comments. So, um, oh, good. Some of you do this too. Janet says she needs all the tips she can get for packing stamping stuff because they're going to pack up their five dogs and head out to Louisiana next month to visit family. Oh, but but how fun. And, and you know, because we came to Florida, I definitely brought the sand and sea. I really did want to limit. And then I also just brought some designer series paper. What I forgot to bring was a really wide variety of colored cardstock. <laughs> so I'm working with what I have. Um, but I knew what I kind of wanted to focus on. And then I thought I can do double one sheet wonders. I can, you know, I, brought, I thought about things that I could do kind of more mass producing. That would be fun. So first what I'm going to do is show the cards we're going to make, but using the fine art, because sometimes it's fun to see things done in two different papers. You guys know I love to do that because I want you to do a whole bunch of papers. And of course, the challenge for this week is to make any of these cards. If you do a whole Double sheet wonder, we would love to see that in the backport stampers. To be, but to be in the drawing, you only need to do one of these. You, so you can pick an easy one. So, you know, we make it easy. But so these are the cards we're going to make. And then we're actually going to make them with the sand and sea. But I was going to show these first. But I thought, I think that is really fun. And we're using two sheets. So you'll see we have two cards like this. And this is it. So they're just very easy. Uh, another thing I like about Double One Sheet Wonder is you get a bunch of cards, you don't waste paper, and you also get um, a, a variety of styles. So it's just kind of a fun thing to play with. So, And these are all very simple. You can make everything a step more by adding more layering. You know, I could add another colored layer and that would set these off even more. But we are going for very, very simple. You can do that if you like. I think, you know, aren't these fun? So these are, these just kind of, this is what holds them. They open like that and they just tuck right in. So any little accent there. And then the last ones were these, just very, and you can see some of them have different, um, different things on. It's kind of whatever I have in here. So I said the end of the month will be different. <laughs> I'll, I'll be peeling these off to put on new ones. No, <laughs> but so these are the cards we're going to make. And I think this is, so these are all made out of, this double, when she wonder, and I just love the variety with it. So if you have yours, it, it, yes, and I did think very simple for coming, for traveling. Look at how simple this is. This is really an easy layout, and this will all be on my website by morning at the latest, but I plan to have it up this evening. You know, I have um, most of the things done. I just have to get all the pictures and all the written directions. So you can see we have our two, you're just gonna pick two six by sixes, and you know, this would be the same. You could pick, if you wanted to do just a one sheet wonder and you had a 12 inch piece and cut it at six, you know, then you just have two sides. So this is like a 12 inch, but it gives us more options because we're using two half sheets. What other choices are there? So besides, I love that about it. It's two sides. I don't know. Yeah. Do you think there could be more sides? <laughs> but it gives you four sides. Whereas if we just did one. I see. Oh, I okay. See. Okay. Well, Tim, Tim is the watchdog today okay. to just keep yeah. me on track. Because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> okay, so so now you might see real life. <laughs> she she says, "Sorry, Tim, but I don't have anything for you to do." Today. So and I, will I continue brought, to interrupt. I really meant to bring the the, the Stampin' Up slicer cutter, but I ha but I brought this. I don't know what I was thinking because that was much smaller. It's a Stampin' Up one. Yeah, it's an older one. I don't have oh, to see more, but it's what I usually use. It's a chop and dice, and I'm just I'm more comfortable with it. But the other was certainly narrower, so I don't know what I was thinking, but. First, I'm going to cut the paper. And you see, we're just going to cut it at four inches. So these are three four inch pieces. So, really, I'm going to cut it at four inches. And this is what you can do along with me, or you can watch yours afterwards. 
So we're going to do this. This is just pretty fun when they're just this simple. Okay, so I'm going to work from left to right, even though they're all the same. <laughs> You're going to notice, look at these two. We're just cutting them in half. So I'm just going to turn them, cut them at three. So a lot of times if I'm cutting paper like this, it's because I'm making a whole bunch of the same card. And so I thought this is just kind of fun because we still are going to make a variety of cards. And then my last one, I'm going to still cut it three. And then this will be two inches and one inch. So I'm going to go three. And now notice all my piles of three can just be right, right here because they're all the same. And then I'm going to cut this. I'm just going to cut one inch off, so it's one inch and two. This one inch part, I'm going to cut in half. So I may not even do that today, but this is left over. I cut in half, and I think I did on one of the cards, and use these little strips on the insides of the white part. So they're little added strips, but we don't need them to actually make the card. And then I'm cutting this at one and a half, so that I have one and a half and two and a half. Okay. My paper cut. I'm gonna need this once more. Once more. Or okay. A little later, but I'll, uh, I'll put you in charge of that. So. Okay. We're gonna do this one first because then we get rid of the easiest. <laughs> this is the smallest papers. So. And these are. Um, I am using 12 by 12 today. If the same ideas, you can use six by sixes. You're just gonna pick one of these. And then you have a two inch strip to do other things with. So I love six by sixes too. But these today are focused on the 12 by 12. Okay, so to, in the cards we're going to make, this first one, we're going to do, well, it's really humid here. My paper is just, I mean, it's, it's just really different. Okay, we're going to do, uh, sometimes you need to measure. Here, I'm gonna show you first. So, oh, this is, <laughs> one we did one of the cards we're going to do. Yeah. Isn't that fun? So I have to remember the measurements here myself. Um, two and a quarter. Okay. I thought it was on your piece of paper. But I'm also going to say it wouldn't matter. I could have changed this, except it's going to matter because it's not going to go with the paper I cut. Now, here's an easy way to remember this. This is a gatefold because it meets in the middle, mm -hmm. although this isn't a middle. So this is like an off-centered gate card. could also do this meeting in the middle and change your paper, so I just love variations. Since I'm gonna have it meet in the middle, I can fold that and check this out. I know I need this to be five and a half inches because that is your standard base card to fit in a card. And it also means, look at that, they're gonna meet in the middle. And I'm just gonna do one and then show the other. So let's see. Now, I loved, um, this color, but, but see, I, I didn't have other colors. So we're going to go for a sand color. And I said, it's all good, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's just all, all interesting because we can do whatever we want to do. And then with these, so if I'm doing two cards like this, I like to kind of lay them out. Okay. I know I'm going to have my two big ones and then I'm going to want the other sides. So let's see, I'm going to want that side and I'm going to want that. I just want to make sure they're all different. Yep, that works. That way we just have our built-in variety. There. And how cool is that? So I'm going to do both cards this way. This is kind of like measure twice, cut once. Yeah. And then I'm just put a white piece inside. I'm gonna set these aside because I don't really need to do both. You know, if I were doing this as a class, you know, we'd hang out and just keep on going. But but you see, it's just got the white piece inside and the inside piece will always be five and a quarter by four. And that's where this little strip, see cut in half, here I'd put a little finishing piece in there. So that's what you wanna do with any leftover pieces. So there's no waste to this paper. And it closes like this. So I just added some words from the Friends I Like Seashell set. And then I just added 
some of the little cutouts. And I think that's a really fun. Oh, good. Deborah liked that scoring tip, finding the center scoring. Yeah. Oh, I think it's fun because it's fun to make cards that are asymmetrical. And by using that idea, you can make your cards a little bit off center is, is just, it's just fun. So that is card number one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're just cutting a 12 by 12 in half um, to get the six by six. Yeah, if anyone missed that part. And so I can do two sets of these. That's the other thing. You're going to cut it in half. So you can make two sets of these cards. You already have the paper for that. So next we're going to take, so that took care of all of this. And now we're sitting with four piles of this. So now next let's do, we're going to take two piles of this and we are going to make, oh, I'll find the next card. So I have one down here. Okay, so here's this one. Now, I love this. Your friendship is a blessing, and it comes from So Sentimental. Someone was asking when we did the, the uh, pocket quilts where the Sending Healing Hugs comes from, because that was, Julia put that on a bunch of the quilt cards, which is just perfect for sending this whole idea we had. And I couldn't think of what it was, but it's from this So Sentimental. I love this stamp set. Uh, and this is hiding somewhere in our tiny little place. I couldn't use that, so I have it on this one. But then, you know, you just kind of use whatever whatever you brought, whatever you can find. So each of these, I'm going to set those aside because we will make this one today then. So here are my two pieces that are four by three. Oh, good. You guys are liking this. So wonderful. Okay, so this is going to be my my side piece here. So what I'm gonna do, instead of marking it, I'm just gonna pinch it at the end here. Cause you know, good enough is good enough. That's kind of a thing for me. And then I'm going to fold it to meet in the middle. And be aware your tips aren't even gonna show. So you don't even have to be too, too fussy about it. And then I'm gonna fold this over. How cool is that? And this is my side piece. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to find my middle. And mark it. Mark it with my little fold. And then, and I'm just eyeballing. So see, if you were really fussy, you could draw this out. And then you'd have a perfect card. But um, I'm not into perfection. This is thoughtfulness and fun. And uh, <laughs> it's handmade. What can we say? So now how easy is this? And these are my two end things. So now to turn this into a card, you can see I'm just gonna put these on the ends. So I'm going to add a little snail right there to hold that down across here. Yes, and I snail, I still had some old ones left my pound and I, I brought those along. So I use a little, and I'm almost out of them. Well, you're supposed to save those for me because <laughs> I, I like them better. <laughs> okay, and I put that on there, and okay, I have a little piece showing. We're not even going to care about that today. I would just cut that off, you know. That's what scissors are for, right? Mm. To just fix any little details. I'll close this up. And then we're going to tuck this one in. Actually, if I had anything showing, so here's another little tip. They should be cut off uh, probably before you even put it down. Can I, I just could say easily something? Do that. Uh -huh. I, I didn't know how you were going to get from here to here because this that is really cool how it, it just fits underneath. Is that fine? And, and this is what's holding it. See, it's just got the little. Yeah, I love it. Which is really fun. So it just, you have any little thing here to just hold it as the little snap thing. And this, this speech card, so this is what my back looks like. So we'll put this on. And <laughs> okay, this is really funny. I was gonna say, I almost took it off to take it the other way because I didn't want to see that I wanted at the bottom. And then I thought it's the same card. I can just do it this way, right? <laughs> it's like when we when we have a blank piece of paper and then we turn it over <laughs> to put the glue on, <laughs> but that's all pretty funny. And now this one, I might need a little more work on this. So I had this. I didn't have any more of the other. And I thought, you know what? I kind of like it just like that. That's probably big enough right there. Or what do you think, Tim? Or, but this needs to be much smaller because that's way too big. Or 
I put a finishing touch on like that. What do you think? Let me see. I kind of like that. I kind of like it just plain too. Let's yeah. just go with that. And I am going to have to uh, find my words for this. So this is going to be wordless right now. <laughs> but you know how it goes as I clean up, I'm going to find all kinds of things. And then what I'm going to do, and so I don't dare attach this part yet. This is going to be just uh, snailed on here. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to attach it with. Here I use the little accents that, that can come with this set. So you see there are all these little things. And for these that popped up, I just use, you can use um, baby powder. I used a little static thing, or you can just get your finger over it a few times to get the sticky part off. This one, I thought I'd you'll see I have an ice cream cone in here too. It's all my little cutouts. Then I would just look here. Okay, those are too big. Help me, Tim, here. What do you think? Oh, this might be a... I'm still back with that baby powder and that, that thing that you went like that. I have no idea what you're talking oh, okay. about. <laughs> well, I kind of like that, but I don't know if I like pink because pink is right there. Here we've got yellow. But just have fun this thing. So just, just play with what you have. Well, you got pink and yellow. Or I, or I can go a couple of that. That one might be a little small. But I could also go with like a yellow and then add a couple of others. Yes. Okay, so you're going to see on the blog what I finished this with. I can also add something over here. But that's what I think is just fun. I like having your little, little raw materials here to just play with. Oh, ink around the edges, Julie said. That'd be a great idea because then you'd be accenting the color a little bit. I will see if I brought an appropriate color to do that with. I love that idea. And then it help, would help set it apart a little more too. So that's really fun. Okay, so that is the next card. And then we're going to move into, we're going to do two like this. Okay, so now I need my cutter, the cutter again. And... This time, I'm going to take my three by fours. I love easy layouts. And if you notice, I'm just going to pick a spot, and then I'm going to go to the corner. I'm doing it this way because it fits with, let's see, actually, let me think about um, how I want it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, but you could really cut this at any, any point. Okay. So now... I am going to, I just want these to be different. So they're going to go like this and this. And so here, and it just gives a, a little different um, look to it because often if we're putting a pattern paper on will just go like five and a quarter by four or something. So this is taking a three by four and then just cutting it at an angle and spreading it out, which is just going to give a different kind of look to play with. Okay, so that's that background. Oh, I could use either of these. Well, I'll, I'll stick with what I had. But you can see how you can play around because you've got your four sides. And I'll put one up in the corner and one down here of the sand. Okay, so now I have my two layouts and I'll show you what I did to finish those. But aren't those fun? These are friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. So it's from that set. And again, you can see I just put these on one of the things that I found, added a little twine, and then just added one of these. And again, we could do anything, but another fun layout. When I'm done with this, I'm going to put like these two next to the rose ones. So you kind of see all four together. So I think that's kind of fun. And then that just leaves us with one more. How do you open the card? Oh, how do you open the card you just made? I think she's talking about this one. Look at that. It slips in. Is that cool? I just love it because that's what, um, you know, it holds it, but it's, just fun. And then with our last one, we're going to go super simple, like like the others weren't, you know. But, <laughs> but So for this one, okay, I'm going to find my little pieces here. I, okay, so, okay, I better do them this way. 
I will. So these are three by four. So I'm laying them on a piece that's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Love cardstock when you cut it four and a quarter because you know you're cutting it the long way. You can still make it for cards and then cutting it this way. So again, it's another great, great measurement. Okay, and then we're going to just put these on. I, I didn't make these ahead, so see, I'm actually doing these, but look how quick these are, and I think they're really fun. I have, I'm on my last roll of glue dots, my last snail, so, and then, and then I'm gonna be using liquid glue, so you know, I have no excuse, I can keep doing. I will just say that honestly, the glue is my least favorite, so that's why I don't use it a lot, but it makes sense, and it gives you some wiggle room. And when she runs out of that, she's going to start using her glue gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I'll send Tim for an emergency trip somewhere. Okay, so I'm just going to do that one. But I think it's interesting because we all have our own, you know, little things that we like to use. Okay. So that's why I'm trying to be sparing and use some of each. <laughs> it's all, <laughs> all pretty fun. I'll tell you what really happened. I thought I brought plenty of stuff. I mean, plenty of um, adhesives. But then I joined, we were on the road. I joined a couple of swaps for the new butterflies. So suddenly <laughs> I was using up a lot of glue. Yes, I did overnight an order here from Stampin' Up! down here and I forgot to add glue. So that was my bad. But, <laughs> and now I think of all these other things I could have done. Okay, now how cool is this? And now I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add add these. Now, do they look like they should be? No, they're, they're shells. It doesn't really matter how they look, right? Love you to the beach and back. So what do you think, Tim? I think they need a little twine. Okay. Okay, I need a little um, scissors. Scissors. Okay. If you could find something like that. Yes, I do. Oh, he's got his little uh, army knife. <laughs> and it's <laughs> <What's> army knife. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's actually a leather, a leatherman. Okay, so I'll have you cut that, and I'm going to do one of those things where you just put eh, twine, twine. Makes me kind of think beachy here. This is okay. one of the things that I bought when I retired from Starbucks. Our kids gave us gave me money to spend on myself. Yes, and he had walk. fun doing that. How much of it did you spend on craft supplies? <laughs> <laughs> just just this one. Okay, we're gonna do this. Love you to the beach and back. Oh, that's fun. It I is. like that. Okay, let's do another one. You know, I think sometimes it's good. You know, I've said this before to pull out more limited supplies and just see what you can do because um, some of us just have some, you know, so much stuff. It's just so hard, hard to say. Okay, what did I just do with my, I just had these, Tim, and I'm sure you took them. What's that? My uh, Over there. dimensional things. Oh, but they're right here. See, yeah. I knew they couldn't be far. And read. Uh, one of them. Uh, retired from Starbucks? Who's another? Yes. No, oh, but another one. But yes, he worked there for 16 years. Husband. Somebody's husband has a lot Oh, oh, a Facebook user. So it, it doesn't show a name oh. until we go back to the replay. But that's cool. Yes, yes, Tim worked at Starbucks for 16 years. That's one reason when we travel, we just know all the Starbucks. So uh, we love it if people know another local alternative. We love to hit local alternatives. So it's not we're tied to Starbucks. The reason we use Starbucks is everyone can find them and knows where they are. But we love to treat people to coffee and just get to know them. But um, Starbucks, you know, you could work there half time and get benefits. So Medical, that's why Tim worked there. Dental, vision. Yeah. And, you know, we did insurance. not have that. So it was really perfect for us. Okay. Now, what do you think for these? Would you add? I would almost think about if we added anything, adding just something little. Um, I would I would add an ice cream cone. <laughs> ice cream on the beach. That would no, remind. <laughs> no, these are too big. I think I don't know. Uh, well, let let's see here. Let's oh, see who just laid that down. But I think yeah, we have all of these. 
oh, and there's plenty more little ones that we that I could cut wow. out. So I can deal with it later. It's probably a good thing. We'll, sh we'll show the finished cards. But I think they're really fun. Yep. Okay, so you're going to envision this. Okay, so before we stop, I'm going to show the cards next to the other cards that are right behind the computer right there. Oh, pearls will be fun. Yes. Oh, yes. And I have them out here. The uh, what what you can get with this set, these little pearl things. So I will look at what to add. The finished cards will be be on the thing. But I wanted to just um, show this. Now, here are so these are the same pattern. And I think what's fun is, you know, you change your paper and your cards look totally different and, and they're all beautiful but they're all different. So I love um, doing one sheet wonder things because I think they're, it's just kind of fun for layout. So this was one of the patterns. Yeah, Kathy, now she wants ice cream. I think ice cream on the beach works, you know, that you know works for me. And if you want a little topping on it, you just use sand. <laughs> and then we have these and then the one I didn't finish, but then, so see, we'll put that. And see this? Closes up right there. This closes up with the shells. I think so. It's just kind of whatever you use. That's a very fun layout. And then we had these. Oh, there's the other one. Um, to find where these went to. So I have a whole collection of cards here now to send, which is pretty awesome. So look at that. It's interesting because these papers actually have some of the some similar colors to them. And I hadn't realized that when I I'm trying to figure out. OK, that, that, that looks better right there. But I think that's pretty fun. The simple but beautiful. Thank you, Monica. Yes. And I love simple and beautiful. And then the last one. Oh, and geez. I just think this is a fun way to cut. I think she was describing us, wasn't she? <laughs> That's simple but beautiful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, where? Oh, here they are. See, it's such a good idea, but you know, it's always hard to be organized. But isn't that funny how similar in colors they are? I really had no idea. But I just love how these are similar and yet different and just totally, totally easy layouts. <sighs> So that's our plan for today. And um, so the challenge is to have you do any of these cards. So you, you can make any of these with just a three by four piece of paper and um, make a whole bunch of these. Or do one sheet wonder and use different papers or use the same papers, but you decorate them differently. I said, that is the beauty of this. None of us do things the same. And uh, it's one of the reasons why we love community and the back porch stampers, because we just love to see everyone's take on an idea. So thanks. And remember, if you live anywhere near this area, send us a message. We would love to treat you to a cup of coffee in Mobile, Pensacola, Fort Walton Beach, any of the areas around here. Or what town are we in? Uh, Destin. No, this little oh, this strip. Little, Okaloosa, I don't well, know. Yeah, Okaloosa, Okaloosa Island. Where, wherever. You, you guys know the area if you are. Have a wonderful time and let us know if you have any questions. How do you score your cards? How do you store your cards until you send them out? I... I store them in a box made for photos, you know, those boxes with the lid. That's where I I keep, um, I have a few of them. And some people are more organized than I am, but I tend to send my cards out as quickly as I make them, unless I'm keeping them for something. But some people divide them then by birthday cards or kind of whatever. But I find those photo boxes that you get anywhere for like five bucks are just a perfect size for putting all my cards in and then they don't get messed up. In fact, I keep... I have about four of those full of cards that I just keep for the ideas because I love looking at real cards. You know, they're cards from long ago, but I, you know, there's something about them that I want to remember. And I love looking at the real, the real things. So, so thanks guys. And we will talk to you later. Thanks for joining us. Bye.